six, nine, Today we have a video about the Heightwise 60s LCD mod. Anyone who has been installing this, I have great news for you, which is Height Nexus software finally is available for download. I just downloaded it, I just loaded it up and was trying it out and wanted to just share it with you guys what my findings are of this program. It's going to be a short one, I'm not going to go into deep uh, of this program. Let me see what I can show you guys, what you can actually do with the software. Settings here. And in the settings, you can just change your background as you wish from here. Uh, let me choose this one. It's a more subtle one. I can see a little bit something here. Let me see here. Yeah, now you can see what this background is like. I prefer a bit more like something like this, to be honest. But if you want, you can change it to like this, which is also a bit like, you know, hypnotic and if you don't like that you can change it to this one which it already was at just to see the colors or whatever here and also you have many more on the program but you can also upload your own and then you know just use the one that you are wanting to use like you know like the video game or whatever you like you can just you know put a video up there and you can just have it as background so let me change this back to the one that I want. I'll go here. So then you just click here. Uh, what you can see here, and I don't know if you, if it's possible to, for you guys to see it, but first one is uh, my CPU. It's a fairly well kind of old CPU, a great one, Ryzen 9 5900X. But you can see the clock speed the fan speed, the temperature that it's running at, which is not true because the temperature is not zero and the clock speed is not zero. So I'm afraid that there is something kind of having to update on this, I don't know, but it doesn't display the CPU's values correctly for some reason. Maybe I need to restart my system, that's a possibility, but for now it's not working. And But my uh, graphics card, which is a GeForce RTX 3090, it does show how much the load is, the temperature and the clock speed. So that is working fine. And then my memory is working fine, as you can see here. And also the storage is displaying correctly on the C drive. I think you can change this to dri any drive you like. And then you, you get your settings underneath. And you also have... Um, well the time and date of the place you are which is great I didn't have to change this it just goes to Brussels which is well not where I live but you know the timing is right and the date is right and then you have the report bug so you can click here and it goes to a website and then you can report a bug so if I restart my system and after I restart it these values do not change then I will have to report it because it's a fairly new software, as I said, released on the 24th of March, which is just today. And I'm really was waiting for this and I'm finally having this software is really a great thing. Uh, so I'm really happy that this is finally available for everyone who is willing to uh, use it. So guys, as I said, this was going to be a short video. So maybe you guys can also download this, whoever has this mod. You don't ha even have to have the mod. This is just, you know, great on this mod, but you can also just, you know, use it on a secondary screen. It doesn't matter. It's a height software. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to uh, download it or already have downloaded it and what your findings are of the software. Because it's a new software, height is looking for feedback. So I will surely give them my feedback. Maybe I want to make this lettering a bit bigger, some of them smaller. Uh, you don't have that option yet. First impressions, really nice. I like it. And if I just minimize it, this is the screen I was using. This is still a great screen, but I like it to have all these widgets on the screen as well. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up anyways if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!